Hey folks, Faith here. I got some sweet news. I'm going to be installing solar panels on Hey Duke with the help of a friend, of course. Now, I don't have all the parts in yet, but I will soon. And I'm going to show you what my plans are, and I will also take you through the process of installing solar panels on a vehicle. So right now, the plan is that the system is going to be focused right here, and it's gonna, um, of course the solar panels are gonna be on the roof. So we're gonna drill a hole through the roof, the ceiling somewhere here. Uh, I want the wires to come down this way, and then the whole, like the outlets, and the battery, and all that stuff is gonna be right here. All right, so I got some more parts in today, including my solar panels, and I am very, very excited. So let's open them. Cool, so check this out. My solar panels are actually flexible but they are not bendable. So obviously I can't fold it in half, but it will form itself nicely to the roof of my van. So here's the battery that my solar panels are going to charge. Gift from my friend, he had an extra one, so he gave it to me. Thank you for that. And there's this board down here that we are going to secure the battery to, and we are gonna secure the board to the frame of the driver's seat. Right now what I'm doing is I am getting the wires that we're going to use to connect the solar panels to the battery ready. And to do that, I'm just using this little tool to tuck the wire in here so it's a little bit more discreet. Sweet, so now the wiring is all tucked in. You can see it a little bit right here, but that doesn't bother me much. It comes out right here. I also need to clean off a spot on the roof where the solar panel is going to go. All right, it's time to put the solar panel on the roof. And to do that, I'm going to secure it with this super duper awesome outdoor, extreme outdoor Velcro that will hold up in the weather and the water. All right, so my solar panel has been attached to the roof pretty firmly, not really going anywhere. I have it covered with a blanket right now so it doesn't start generating electricity um, while I'm touching it. And now it is time to connect the wires. All right, so we're gonna use these little cap things to attach the wires. Just remember when you're connecting wires that you're connecting negative to negative and positive to positive. Alright, so what I've done here is I've connected the wires using the caps to twist them together through this little doodad. So once I get this all the way down and secure, this is essentially going to make the two holes I drilled in my roof um, waterproof. So this is kind of covering it up and preventing any water from getting in. And then, so what's cool about this thing is basically um, you tighten these and it kind of clinches down around the wires um, so that it's kind of airtight and there's no, no water or moisture could get through there. So you can change it depending on the size of the wire. It's kind of nifty. All right, so I just taped down these wires into a position that works and I'm going to secure this cap to the roof with this watertight all right, so I'm gonna do my best to explain all of this right here. So this thing that looks like a bomb, it is actually not a bomb, it is my internal setup. Um, this is the battery that the solar panels are going to be charging. I keep saying panels like I have more than one. I only have one panel. We secured the battery to my van by using this board down here. So this board is connected to the back of my driver's seat 
and that's holding it there. And then um, the battery case is drilled into the board. So this isn't going anywhere. So this gray box right here is what connects the panel to the battery. So essentially, I haven't done it yet, but this um, wiring right here is the wiring coming in from the solar panels. This is going to connect here. Um, the positive and the negative wires from the solar panels are gonna go into this one. And then I'm gonna run additional wiring from the battery to this second slot right here where that's gonna go. So then essentially this thing is going to send the electricity from the solar panel to the battery. You notice I have another wire over here connected to this panel, which I have screwed into the wall of my van. So essentially once the solar panel and the battery are connected and this gray box is turned on, this will tell me what how my solar panels are doing basically and what my input is. What we've also done here is we have screwed some charging ports. These are the classic cigarette lighter port things that you usually see in cars. We have taken two of these, so I have four ports and we have screwed them onto the underside of this. And then this wiring is connected directly to the battery. So the last little component is this guy right here. This tells me how my battery charge is doing. Um, so it's unplugged right now, but if I were to take this and plug it into here. Okay, so that's plugged in now. And then check it out. It's telling me how my charge is doing. And so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take some of that extra Velcro I have and I'm going to attach this guy right here. All right. So there we go. That is now attached here. All right, so now I am working on a new overhead light that will connect to my battery and be powered by solar. Um, so I just connected the wiring in the back here and it's going to go right about there so it'll be over my bed at night it'll be a perfect little reading light and then i'm gonna connect these wires well i'm gonna hide them away down the side here and connect them to my little thingamajig setup because that's the official term for it all right so now that is in perfect all right so now i have tucked the two wires in away so you can just see them barely and here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, plug this into the negative wire on the battery, and then for the positive wire, I'm going to add a fuse and then connect it to the positive wire on the battery. Good news, my solar panel is up and running. So as you can see here, I connected the panel wires to the controller, and then I also wired the battery to the controller. So now you can see that the two green lights are lit up. This is showing that I'm getting input from both the panel and the battery, and they're both doing well. And this thing up here is now showing me that I'm getting 17 volts from the panel. And the battery charge is doing quite well. And I also successfully installed the light, so this is now running off of solar power. And I also have my uh, fan plugged in right now, so. Solar power. And I also have my inverter plugged in. So once I turn this on, my iPod's now charging. Pretty cool. All right, so there are definitely some thank yous in order for this project. A big, big, big thank you goes to my main man, Tan. Tan originally got in touch with me when he saw my van tour video and saw that my charging ports are broken. He helped me figure out how to fix them. Um, it was a super simple fix, but I've never done electrical things or mechanical things before, so I had no idea what I was doing, and he helped me figure it out. And then once he realized I wanted to do the solar installation, which is basically identical to the one that he has on his truck, um, he offered to help me install it. And 
again, I had no idea what I was doing. Um, he helped me figure out what parts I needed to get. He offered a lot of his own toolkit and some of his own parts. And then of course taught me how to put all of this together. And now I have like a basic knowledge in electrical stuff that I didn't have before, which is super awesome. And I have solar on my van. Again, would not have happened without Tan. Thank you so much, you're awesome. And safe travels to you, my friend. And my next thank you goes to Chris. I'm not gonna try to say your last name because I'm gonna butcher it, but you know who you are. Um, Chris kindly reached out to me after watching my van tour video and donated some money to help me purchase this stuff. So that helped to reduce what I had to put into it, which is really helpful because I'm trying to save my money so that I can enjoy it on the road in ventures. So Chris, thank you so, so much. That was really awesome and kind hearted of you and just kind of totally out of the blue from a random awesome stranger. So yeah, you are awesome. Thank you very much. I'm going to put the links for the stuff that I purchased on Amazon in the description down there below the video. Um, so you can go check those out on Amazon if you're looking to purchase these parts for yourself.